What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than I have to kill. And I'm back here on Borderlands 2 with some brand new DLC news and information. We all know that Tiny Tina DLC is right around the corner and will be out June 25th. But what you probably didn't know is some of the new loot has been leaked. And the last time that, that was leaked for Sir Hammerlock's DLC, I let you guys know what it was, showed you the weapons, and what I thought that they were going to do. And we're going to do the same thing in this motherfucking video right motherfucking now. So, the first four are grenade mods. Now, if you look at these grenade mods, they just look like standard grenade mods, except they regenerate ammo. And you're going to be like, say what? That's right, Anthony Birch talked about this during E3. This is Gearbox's way of putting magic spells inside of Borderlands. So basically, the regeneration of ammo is going to be like a mana cooldown from RPG-style games and uh, all those Dungeon and Dragons. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how these go. So we do have the magic missiles, and the only thing different about these is uh, the purple one actually has child spells that come out of these balls, which is uh, actually pretty cool. And then we have the lightning bolt, and we also have the fireball. Now, both of these look pretty much just just like your magical spell versions of a Tesla grenade or the fire burst uh, regular grenades that you can get inside the actual campaign of Vanilla Borderlands. So, moving on, we have two, count them, yes, two brand new legendary grenade mods. And the first one is the Firestorm. Now, the Firestorm looks pretty much just like a legendary magic spell. It does regenerate grenades just like the other ones. Except, this is probably going to be like the Fire Bee, how it's comparable to the Fire Burst, it's just like it's on steroids. And the Chain Lightning is pretty much what I think is going to be like a magical spell version of the Stormfront. Which is going to be actually pretty cool, because I do love me some Storm motherfucking front. So, moving on, we have the Sword Explosion. The sword explosion is a Torg weapon, and it, it shoots swords, and these swords explode into more su swords that explode. Now, the only reason I know this is because during E3, Anthony Birch was talking about this weapon, so it looks like it might be a flacker that's easier to flack with. So, flack the world, people. Flack the motherfucking world. <laughs> I'm sorry. And moving on. We have the Amulet Relic. Now, the Amulet Relic gives you plus seven friendship, and it also says, it's, it references Roland's death. I'm gonna read it off for you right here. It says, while I fight with thee, dear friend, all losses are restored and sorrows end. Now, could this be like an upgraded Loot Finder's Relic that actually ups the drop rates in the game? Because although it does reference Roland's death, it says, all losses are restored and sorrows ended. And if you know the sorrows of us with bad drop rates, that is what I'm hoping for. I am hoping for that this gives us plus seven, like we actually have seven characters inside the game. Would that actually be possible? We don't know, but I hope so. But that's a very slim chance. So moving on, we have the Shadow of the Seraphs, which is a 33% chance to fire twice. What? This is going to go perfect for my Forever Alone setup, because if you use the unequaled class mod that does boost the Two-Fang, this plus the 60% from Two-Fang, if it does, if it does stack, this with the Diva Anarchy and also with the uh, unequaled professional class mod could probably bring your fire rate plus 100 to 100 some percent. That would be crazy, which means my Forever Alone class would be doing twice the damage that it normally does and it already does some pretty damn good damage so let's hope that that stacks the way that i'm thinking it might and if it doesn't you know what oh well so <laughs> the next one we have is the aquamarine aegis which if you take a look at it it doesn't look like anything special however the damage over time is massive and we don't know if it's actually going to be like the infection where the fire spreads from one enemy to the other that would be very cool because the next weapon is a shock SMG called the crit. Now, we don't know if this gives you extra critical hit damage. It's not listed on the card, but what is listed on the card is huge damage over time from the shock. So that's actually pretty cool. It goes hand in hand with the uh, infection and the aquamarine Aegis. So that's a, that's a pretty good valuable resource to have inside this game. And the next one is the Florentine. Now the Florentine 
is a dual element, shock and slag. And I know you guys are going to be like, but what about the who lane? Wait, did you say that right? Some of my Irish subscribers will tell me that's like who lane, like with a who lane in there. So let's go with the who lane. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm still going to call it the two lane though. Two lane, who lane, whatever. I'm not really fucking sure about the pronunciation of that. But what you can bet is that this is a Seraph weapon, pretty much comparable to that. But it doesn't look like that it's going to slag you when you actually use it, which would be an upgrade over top the Hulane. <laughs> so, moving on, we do have the Grog Nozzle. Now, I know exactly what this is. This is a Moxie weapon, but when you shoot it, it gives you like a drunken style blur effect, almost similar to kind of what Silence the Voices does for your vision. And uh, the, Anthony Birch was talking about this there at E3 as well, and that's how I know what it does. And it's a Moxie weapon, so it should regenerate health. Will it regenerate health as well as the Moxie Ruby Pistol? We do not know. That remains to be seen. So, we do have the Omen. The Omen is a TDR shotgun. It doesn't look like it does anything special at all, except be a TDR. So, yeah, I'm excited for that one. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And next, we have the Seeker. The Seeker is a huge damage explosive AR, but if you look at the red flavor text, it says, oh yeah, that's fair. So it says Seeker, and that's not fair. So is, does this have Holman projectiles coming out of it? We don't know, but my speculation is that this might be a Holman assault rifle, which would be pretty cool because, you know, assault rifles in this game do need a little bit of a buff, so if they put one in there with huge damage that you don't really have to aim, you can give that to your girlfriend and play some Borderlands motherfucker 2 and Tiny Tina's motherfucking DLC. Moving on, we have coming back from Borderlands 1, the motherfucking ogre. And you know what's sad is it doesn't look doesn't look like anything impressive now is is it gonna be amazing we don't know we gotta find out so whoever gets an ogre first let's play <laughs> now just fucking with you guys good we're gonna find out though where these drop from because this is a legendary weapon you can see it right there on the card it is an orange and this is the first time in the dlc that they're actually adding legendary weapons in which is actually pretty cool and it seems like that these seraph weapons might actually go into the seraph vendor and the raid boss at the end might have a chance to drop some of these legendary weapons which would be pretty fucking cool so moving on we have a shield called the antagonist now the antagonist reflects enemy bullets and it has slag homing balls every time you're shot so it's pretty much like an impaler that slags people for you and it also reflects enemy bullets so not only is it slagging the enemies it has a chance to fucking kill the enemy with their own bullets that do four times damage which is uh pretty fucking cool and the last but not least is the blockade now the blockade is a shield that when it's fully charged it has big resistance and the lower the charge on the shield and, and the lower the resistance that you have so this looks like it might be a good shield for a necromancer since she does have a lot of resistances and a lot of shield skills inside her skill tree so that remains to be seen to see how these weapons are going to be used but you know what one thing is for sure i am 100 percent excited for this dlc and i know you guys are too because this dlc is gonna be with me yot slay a trend kill and hopefully master kiz makes a comeback if he does it we will respect that because master kiz is a boss he is a boss so my name is jay more than after kill make sure you guys rate comment subscribe i want to thank you guys for watching if you could throw a thumbs up on this video i would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfuckers videos but also down in the description below i'm gonna put the link where i got these pictures you guys can go check that out and read up for yourself and you can also see these weapons with the cards and you know you don't have to pause the video all the fucking time to see what you want to see so like i said my name is jay more than after kill thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you guys later